everyone, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. Today we are talking 2015 favorites. 2016 is here. I want to share with you the makeup and beauty favorites and a few other things that I loved from 2015. Just to let you know, if there's a lot of noise in this video. They're actually working on the heat. We have like workers that are like right above my head and some that are right outside the door. So if there's extra noise, I apologize. I discovered my favorite primer in 2015. And it is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure. I've been using this so much. It is just, ugh, it's the only primer I found that does not make my face either break out or just get like beet red when I use it, which is really all I ask for in a primer. Along the Too Faced tip, I tried several new foundations in 2015, but I would say my all time favorite that I just, I keep reaching for over and over again is the Too Faced Born This Way absolute perfection foundation and oil free from what i've read about this it actually has like i think it's coconut water so it's like moisturizing without the oil so it's perfect for those with dry skin and perfect for those with oily skin it's lightweight doesn't feel heavy but it does feel like there's a lot of coverage what else can you ask for on a foundation i discovered a favorite concealer it's an under eye concealer it's the maybelline instant age rewind in this is actually a neutralizer. I always forget the name. I call it corrector, but it's actually a neutralizer. So perfect for covering up my dark circles, but it's lightweight too. Like it's full coverage, but yet it doesn't get cakey and feel really heavy. I just, I've been using this like every day and I absolutely love it. For brow products, no surprise, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Mine is in taupe, which is such a perfect color because it's really hard for me to find a brow color that works on me because of my hair and my brows and being different colors and we don't need to get into that, but it's such a fine pencil and I could go on and on about this forever, but Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, if you don't have it, try it. Trust me, you'll fall in love. To pick a favorite eyeshadow, I don't know. I don't even know how I could. I have to go with the Maybelline Color Tattoo Bad to the Bronze. If you have blue eyes especially, or mine are kind of like blue-green, it just, it brings out the color, makes it pop. You can dress it up, dress it down. This eyeshadow to me is like a little black dress of eyeshadows. It's just perfection. As far as eyeshadow palettes, I was looking at my palettes and trying to figure out like what my favorite of 2015 would be. And this shocked me that I picked this because I almost didn't buy this and I actually didn't even use this for a very long time after I bought it. I really just fell in love with it like the last half of the year. It's my Tarte Tartlet palette. Honestly, Everybody raved about this on YouTube and blogs, and I was like, why would I want an eyeshadow palette that's just matte eyeshadows? Why would I want that? I don't like matte eyeshadows. I like shimmers. I find myself using this probably more than any other palette. Love my shimmers, mind you. Don't get me wrong. Super Mom is such a great, just all over color power player. I love for like a, a cut crease. Fashionista is an amazing black eyeshadow. It shocked me that this was my favorite. I, I know, I shock myself sometimes. What can I say? Eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, no surprise. Tattoo liner in Trooper. Holy Grail status. Love it, love it, love it. In fact, I actually have a video on YouTube all about my eyeliner secrets. It's basically every liquid eyeliner secret to get the perfect cat eye wing, and it's a private video. So all you have to do to get the video is sign up for my Everyday Starlet mailing list. I will actually leave the link to that below so you can sign up for it and you can get that video straight to your inbox. And you get all my blog posts which include my YouTube videos. So basically you get me in your inbox and you get this free video with all of my eyeliner secrets. So win-win. I can't mention favorites without hourglass ambient light powders. I really, I love them all. I have a couple singles that I really love. I got the ambient light palette edit for Christmas. I haven't really had a lot of time to play around with that yet, but I'm super excited about that. So that'll probably be in an upcoming video. But I've honestly, I've been using the ambient light palette the most, particularly this middle shade, which I believe is incandescent light. I've been using this as like an all over color or a highlighter. As far as makeup tools, and I'm sorry, this is dirty because I just use this to apply my makeup now, but my beauty blender and nothing has ever compared to this. I used to try like foundation sponges, always hated them, was never a fan. Tried this on a whim, was like, it's a foundation sponge, I'm not gonna like it. Love it. This is just, I don't know, I couldn't, I could not live without this. I just love it. I love it. I love it. 
love it. Another favorite that is not technically a makeup favorite, but there's a lot of makeup tips in it, is my absolute favorite book, possibly of all time. It is the Dita Von Teese, Your Beauty Mark book. Here's the thing. I am slightly obsessed with Dita Von Teese. If you don't know who she is, she's like a burlesque performer and glamour advocate du jour. I totally just realized looking at this picture, I didn't put lipstick on to film this video. Duh, what am I doing? I'm, don't mind me. It's been a hectic day. Anyway, my fiance, still so weird to say fiance. He got me this book for my birthday. It came out a week before my birthday and I have been waiting for Dita to come out with her beauty book. She's been talking about it for like five years now. And the release date was like a week before my birthday. And he was like, you can't buy it for yourself in case someone buys it for you for your birthday. And I was like, all right, you need to promise that you are going to give me this on my birthday or I'm just buying it for myself. Like you just, like I made him swear. Like I made him take an oath that he would get me this for my birthday. So it wasn't really a huge surprise that I was getting this for my birthday, but it's possibly one of my favorite gifts. Ever. I actually read it like cover to cover <laughs> probably within the next couple days. It's got such amazing, amazing beauty tips in it. Granted, I've been obsessed with Miss Von Teese for a very long time, so a lot of the beauty tips were no surprise to me because I've read a lot about her, but there are some amazing beauty tips. Makeup, skincare, body care, health, like just all around beauty and wellness and everything in here. It's just, it even gives like some workout routines. It's just, this is just everything. This is my favorite book possibly ever. And of course I can't mention a 2015 favorites without my absolute favorite thing which is my engagement ring because I'm engaged and I've probably mentioned that a few times. I feel like people are getting like yeah we get it you're engaged like you can stop mentioning it but I, I waited so long to get engaged. I sometimes I never thought it would happen. I don't have nail polish on either. I don't know what is wrong with me in this video. I forgot lipstick. I don't have nail polish on. I'm just like I don't have my toenail polish on either but that's not really gonna affect this video at all. But anyway I don't know what's wrong with me today. But yeah this this ring is just absolutely beautiful and I'm actually gonna be filming a whole video on tips and tricks for picking out an engagement ring. So be sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. And those are my 2015 favorites. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, even though I don't have lipstick on. But give it a thumbs up anyway. Be sure you subscribe to my channel. You can check me out on all my social media. They'll all be listed below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.